Hey, welcome. If you just got a deck of move, my name's Zim. I'm going to try and help you out. Three tips uh, that are going to help you out get started with deck of move. Whether you're going to play this, uh, you play this with a game like Skyrim or some other game where you're wandering about, deck of move really enhances the experience. You know that already because you bought one. So here's the three tips. First tip: How do you configure this thing? In other words, when you start using it and you're kind of you've got all these various bits in front of you. What do you need to pay attention to? What are the problems that I've had? So I've had the thing for about two months and um, some tips I want to share with you. So first off, uh, don't be like me, an over uh, an overconfident gamer who thinks, ah, just I'll, I'll figure it out and not read the instructions. There's two kind of really simple instructions. Uh, actually, to be honest, you can just listen to this video and then you won't need those instructions, but they might change in future. So heed my advice. Uh, go to support. Uh, sorry, not support, but um, getting started on the top part of their website. So it's deca.net slash decamove, and that brings you here, and you can go to their their getting started tab. And then what that does is it pops you to kind of a, a quick start guide, and it, it points you to the Deca Hub. You're going to need the software, okay? I'm going to launch the Deca Hub software just to show you, for example, what it looks like for me. Um, here we go. Uh, oh. This is unexpected. I have an update <laughs> to my software. So this is uh, this is funny. All right, go ahead and update it. Let's see what it's gonna do. So it sent me here, uh, download and install. Okay. So I think it wants me to do another, like another download and a fresh install over the top of. It doesn't automatically update itself. So there is also a firmware option in the browser. I'll show you in a second here as well. So let's see here. Let me close that. Let me go ahead and install this. Show in folder. Let's go ahead and do this. All right, agree, install. Service overlay desktop shortcut, no problem. Okay, so we get this installed. While this is running, uh, I wanna talk to you about how you configure this thing because it is the biggest secret and I went a couple of weeks without paying attention and I was struggling with it. I'm like, why, why do I have to like, turn it on, turn it off, sync it again, get the magnetometer, all this kind of stuff. And it's like, you don't need to do all that. So what I'm gonna show you is uh, what worked very well for me. I just show you the uh, the device here now. So I've got the devices here, yeah, right here. Um, so here's my Decamove move window. I'll just put it there so you can see it easily. Okay. so. The next all the games, you can go to a different view if you want, like a grid view. I don't find this particularly helpful. Uh, I play a lot of Skyrim VR with this thing. Um, but what I'm going to show you is, see this devices tab? This is one of my big tips. So you, you, you get this thing going. You have the antenna plugged in. That's easy enough. That would anyone be, we would be able to figure that one out, right? And then what you really want to do is click the cog on the top right. Uh, on the top right here of this window. And it will bring you down to um, Decamove. And then under Decamove, you've got Toggle Floor UI. Okay. So it's right here. Toggle Floor UI. What that is, is that is when you play with Decamove, the default is that below you, there's a ring, like a blue ring. And the blue ring can really get in your way especially immersive, is not as immersive. Now you might say, well, how do I know it's pointed in the right direction if I can't see the little blue arrow and all that? Well, the reason is that you can reconfigure this thing in the game on the fly, and you're actually supposed to do that, and that's the step that I recommend you not skip. So once you've got it set up, you can come back here, click that link, and the blue ring disappears, and you're just in immersive bliss. You don't have to worry about anything else, and you've got your little guy, your little friend with you. So let me go back here wants me to update and I think I'm actually okay. So go back home, get rid of the screen. So the things I was gonna say is you install Deca Hub, okay? Get your dongle plugged in, paired, all that stuff is really easy. You'll find, figure this stuff out yourself. The software helps you configure the device. It's as simple as like twisting it, turning it. You'll see, it's not complicated. You can put it anywhere on your waist. I found even a low pocket on a pair of shorts or something works fine. Um, but the thing that really, I I totally missed, and this is the kernel of wisdom that I want to impart to you and the total reason why I'm making this video, is 
the in-game calibration. I totally missed this. And it is so critical to understanding how the thing works. And it's really smart as well. So once you've got it, you put it on your waist in some place, boot your game up. And then what you want to do is like this guy above me is kind of showing with his body position. You want to look straight ahead with your headset. Take your controllers, right? These are Oculus Quest 2 controllers, for example. You bring them together and down at about waist height. And then you'll see a message pop up and the message says calibrating. And it only pops up for like one to two seconds and then it's calibrated. And that is basically like your Oculus recenter button, but it's a recenter for, uh, for your Deca move. So works great, works very quickly. My only concern at the moment is that sometimes if you're resting in that way naturally, which is for me a natural resting position, then it tries to recalibrate sometimes I don't want it to. Um, so I've asked the dev team if we can get like a T-pose recalibration or something like that. I think they're gonna work on that. So those are two of the tips. Now the third tip I wanted to offer you is a simple one, but one that I think is important in today's world is about charging this device. So if you just got your pretty little deck move, whether you got a white one or a black one, uh, as you can see, I've got a black one here and the, there's a white one on the way. This is one of the early units. Um, so you can tell it's not as glossy as the one that you would get. And things are a little bit rough around the edges. But once you get your unit, okay, you're going to want to charge it. Use the cable that they provide. Okay, it's a relatively short cable. You can plug it into your PC or whatever. And so, you know, put the cable in that end or whatever and you plug it into USB. It This is not designed to charge over fast chargers. So if you plug this in to a phone charger, like I've got a OnePlus charger that will you know, charge my phone like super fast, you can actually damage this. I'm not convinced that I haven't damaged mine actually because the charging of it is, is a real pain for me. And I think it's because this is a dev unit and I probably juiced it too much too quickly. Now it's a real pain in the ass to charge. So don't be like old Zim, charge it like they ask from a USB port or a battery bank or something and do it at the normal speed. Quick recap of those tips. First off, easily configure by holding your controllers together down at your waist and looking straight forward. You'll get the in prompt message when you're in VR. Second, if you wanna turn off the HUD, like me, you like the immersion and stuff, then what you do is you bring up the DECA hub and you go over to the right to this gear button. You come over to DECA move and you toggle floor UI while you're in the game after you've configured, and then that turns off the blue circle. And then third, how do I charge it? Charge it with the cable to a PC or whatever, and don't be like, don't be like old Zen. Look, I hope that was helpful. Um, that is Deca Move. And those are three tips that hopefully will save you a little bit of heartache. Now enjoy your time, and if you haven't tried Skyrim with it, you should. I think it's the best pairing that I've found yet. Ciao, ciao.